Scientists wanting some answers tonight after two whales washed up on the same shoreline here in the Bay. KPIX 5's Andrea Borba is live with what we know so far about the deaths. Andrea? Well, Ken Elizabeth, pathologists have more questions than answers after performing necropsies on both the whales found on the waters near Angel Island. From Chopper 5, you can see the beach of Angel Island, the final resting place for two visually disturbing and biologically concerning gray whale corpses. Last week, a pod of five gray whales made its way into the bay, which is unusual in itself. The biologists are thinking that perhaps there is uh, an unusual abundance of some kind of food that's attracting them in here this year, shrimp or something like that. The whales are on their yearly migration from the warm birthing waters off the coast of Baja, where they winter, en route to the summer feeding grounds in Alaska, where they pack on the blubber. But at least one of the two females studied by the Marine Mammal Center was severely malnourished. So right now, they're heading for Alaska. They're in the poorest body condition they're ever going to be in because they've gone through the winter with no feeding. And if they were in reasonably good body condition, they could make it all the way back to Alaska and there would be no problem. The yearling didn't appear to have enough fuel to make the journey. Uh, the most significant thing was that she had just no body reserves left. She had some blubber depth, but she had no subcutaneous fat. She had no internal body fat. And these are the reserves that any animal, human or animal, needs to maintain their body temperature and normal function. This pair marked the second and third dead gray whales found in the bay in the past two years. There is a growing worry among biologists that this is a marker a sign of the environment in Alaska changing and endangering the whales. It has to be a concern for us. I think it has to be an early warning that perhaps something's changing drastically in their habitat in the north, in the Arctic waters, that they're not getting enough food. Now, that pathologist says the next step will likely be heading up to Alaska and observing the whales up in their feeding ground and seeing if the environment up there has changed for the worse. Ken, back to you.